that was a bit of an error there, a little slip. Okay. Um, so this mini series is basically about simplifying the complications. We did a series before about simplifying the complications. This one really is going to the gusto of simplifying the movements that we think about when we're actually making doing chess. So I'm bringing the knight out because we're wanting to go on kingside castle. We want to make space on the king side. I want to bait a pawn down to maybe try and get this pawn blocking its own knight, blocking its own bishop, but it's not doing that. So in this event, we're going to take it simply off the board. There's no complications. Our king safety is paramount. It is key. It's tempting to put the checks on here, but you know, you're losing tempo really in terms of position. So castling straightforward king safety simple is as simple does nothing fancy nothing airy um just keeping everything as basic as possible everything has a reason and a story this bishop is x-raying through to the bishop it's x-raying through to the queen it's also attacking the knight if the knight we do take the knight and the bishop decides to go for a walk then we're doubling the pawns in front of the king so it all depends on what the opponent does Developing this knight now, supporting our knight, but also looking at long-term gains potentially of bouncing around a little bit towards the centre. So we've baited the pawn down. We can bring the bishop back. If we bait another pawn, we're opening up space around their king. Okay, so that's where we're at so far with this. So we could attack their knight. If the knight takes, pawn takes. It's on the smaller piece, is attacking a higher piece. So it has to move. We could attack this pawn here and if they do take we take leaves us with a bit of an isolated pawn in the center there's many things to be done we could just um, also develop the rook attacking through to the bishop I think I'm liking this one because it seems like it's causing them a bit of a problem let's attack smaller piece attacking so it's going to get some activity done so we're going to take the bishop is on the queen and the rook so the queen's going to take now he's got a two on one with the knight and the queen on this pawn. So it's a bit of a positive for them, but there's a bit of an x-ray element to it. So if we bring the rook here and the knight does take, it's got to take because, oh, I'm getting something, you know, I'm getting it, I'm getting it for free because the queen is supporting. But then once they do that, we can actually attack the knight. So they've realized this and moved the queen off of the line. So we can, he's still got the two on one, don't forget, he's still got the two on one, but now the threat on the queen is not there. So we can attack the queen with a lesser piece. Yep, so the knight is coming, it's attacking the queen, it's also defending the pawn. So we're winning again a momentary tempo because we're de developing a piece, whilst their major piece is having to think, well, where do I go? It's probably still going to want to maintain this because it wants to get a rook involved in getting a free. So it's not actually done that. So a smaller piece can attack the higher piece. There is the exchange of the queens, well, potential exchange of the queens. I think I'll go simple and go for an exchange of the queen. So we do capture. Can expect the smaller piece to, oh no, okay, it's coming down for a double. We can push the pawn, like we said, or we can bring the knight back and defend. I think I'm going to push the pawn, smaller piece, protecting a smaller piece, and hopefully, oh, okay, so the knight's coming down, maybe locking itself in here, is there anything else, probably that's the only thing they're going to do, locking themselves in, don't want to lose on time here, so that is where they're going, is there anything we can do about it, no, okay, let's just push it into the square that it wants to go to, and let's get this rook involved in the party. So if we go here, we're baiting the knight to come down to here. Got to be mindful this this square is like a fork as well, but not well, it's not a fork, it's just hitting the rook. So it's baiting it to come somewhere. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's just hit the knight now. And it's jumping around, but it's away from this central square, so I'm happy. Where else does it want to go? Can come here to attack our rook. Is it major to us? Oh, not really. So I'm going to bring our knight across now, looking to start getting a bit active. Got to move faster now. But you can see the simplifications that we're working with. So he's blocking us with that. Let's just push this pawn up, see if we can disturb this pawn. 
Now it's now attacking the rook, also attacking the pawn. So bring the rook attack and defending the pawn. So he's gone back up now. He can see something maybe. Nope. Let's push the pawn onto the pawn. Get a bit, bit of disturbance going. Doesn't have to take. He can leave it. He can push down. If he pushes down, it gives our knight a bit of space to get into the game a little bit more. Put a bit of pressure onto their rook, which is jammed in at the moment. It's got no space. So we will win the rook. So his knight's looking for some devastation and he's given his rook some space. We can still attack in the meantime. Maybe push the pawn up now. So push the pawn up, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Now he's got a 2 1 1. So we're going to push this pawn to support. And now our knight can come here and win their rook. So we'll take with a check on the king. And at this point we can push a little bit more or take yeah we're gonna to have to take out we really All right resign ourselves to the fact we're gonna lose this pawn i don't think we're gonna have enough tempo to support it uh, yeah okay let's go here try and maybe get a doubling support but it does have a dangerous knight oh the knight's blocking again the knight's going for the blocker again in that square um, I don't think there's anything I can do about that, is there? Let's just go here with the rook. 59 seconds left now. Yep. Yes, he was always going there, wasn't he? Let's go here with our... So the rook takes. We'll take this pawn. This knight's got, not got a check on our king. We're going to have to move so speedy. There's no increment now. And uh, Let's just attack the king. Let's push the pawn. This rook's going back to block that off. So we've got an x-ray through to the king. 50 seconds. So the rook goes back. I don't know why they're taking so long. It's looking for some magical knight fork, isn't it? But the knight can't move. So the only piece that they can move is this rook. Come on, chop, chop, chop. Yep, there we go. So push the pawn. And let's attack the king. Let's take the knight off the board. I don't have time to think of any complications and you have to just bring it down to a simplified. Let's attack the king. Support the rook. And the king attacks. No, it's not attacked. It's not attacked. Um, bring the king up. 36 seconds. It's trading down. Interesting. I've got a poor majority on this side. can block this off then we can start oh he's letting me go past let's go Won't do it in time. I won't do it in time, even though I get a queen, my time's gonna run out. I know these um super speedy players can get a checkmate in 16 seconds with the queen, but I'm gonna struggle with this end. Although they are taking the time, so it's like they're psychologically resigning. Come on, yes. It looks like they've given up. Yay! So, yep, this game was about simplifying, simplifying the simplifying of the complications. Excellent. Yep. So it's not magical. There's no mystery behind it. It's not something that you know. It's like, oh yeah, this is the the definite answer. This is how you're going to play it, and you're going to win. 
Um, it's really about enjoying your games more, for, for, especially for me. Enjoy my games more, just simplifying the simplifying of the complications. Yes, you can go for simplifying the complications, um, which is fine. But to really get down to the gusto of it, to really kind of improve your moves, you've got to go for even simpler 